Hi, this is Pete. Welcome to my channel. In this video I want to present you an idea for a little present that comes straight from the heart. It may be for yourself or for someone you really like or possibly dislike. I am convinced you will be able to decide on this by the end of the video. So today's piece of gear is the wired heart from a little Berlin based company. In fact it's a synthesizer and it comes in an eco-friendly box which you should not throw away because it is some kind of manual. The feature list of this little synthesizer looks impressive. It has six digital oscillators implementing frequency modulation, amplitude modulation and heart synchronization. It's full stereo and it comes with a responsive touch interface. It is extendable and it's dirt cheap. Now let's look at the sound engine as far as I understood it from the manual. There are two master oscillators, each has two slave oscillators. Two of them are subject to amplitude modulation from their master. For the other two slaves we have heart synchronization and frequency modulation. Each oscillator has its own touch field, increased pressure or moisture rises its frequency. So the results very much depend on the condition of your fingers. A really dry skin may not lead to audible signals at all. So a little bit of sweat is always welcome. As an alternative, volatile fluids like disinfectants also work in an interesting way. At that point, it may become clear that the wired heart is not a normal synthesizer that you can use to play melodies or bass lines. It's some kind of drone synth and the results are neither predictable nor reproducible. For me this is nevertheless an interesting device and it becomes even more interesting if you take into account the possible extensions. For each oscillator you have a socket on the board where you can connect all kinds of conducting elements. In fact you can try all things that can be used as variable resistors. The manual suggests to try a banana but possibly it is a good idea to start with the supplied elements that you find in the box. We have a potentiometer and two photoresistors and three LEDs. Yes, the sockets also provide some current that signals the oscillator state. In that way you can also realize feedback loops and I guess you now can imagine the great potential of this device for experimental sound studies. This makes the device really unique and it is really difficult to find anything comparable in this price range. Possibly the Korg Monotrons are the closest devices but the differences are evident. I like the tiny format of the monotrons and I love the creamy filter which also makes up the main difference between the sound engines. The wired heart does not provide any filters and follows a completely different concept for sound generation. But the biggest difference is perhaps the control of the sound engine. The monotron results are to some degree predictable and reproducible. You can even play melodies on the little keyboard. I often tried this and the results were not always convincing. But with the wired heart you leave the melodic world behind you and enter the world of noise and chaos. If such a trip is not an attractive option for you, then the wired heart is not the right device. But if you give it a try, you should always keep a finger near the record button. This is what I did and in the following I would like to show you some of the results. So I hope you will enjoy my demo tracks and it would be great if you subscribe to my channel. And now it's time to turn the microphone off and just make some noise. Stay healthy and stay tuned.